Hello, and welcome to the Chicago Transit Authority DBE Certification, the Road to Excellence Disadvantaged Business Certification Process. My name is Chanel Harmon, Coordinator for Small Business Development and Outreach. Today, the topics that will be covered are what is a DBE, DBE requirements, eligibility requirement for DBE certification, required documents for DBE certification, certification process, and now it's just certified. Now what? First, what is a DBE? A D DBE stands for Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. The DBE program is governed by the U.S. Department of Transportation, U.S. Dot 49 CFR Part 26. To accomplish this, Part 26 seeks, 49 Part 26 ensures non-discrimination in the award and administration of data assisted contracts for highway, transit, and airport programs. To create a level playing field on which DBEs can compete fairly for DOT assisted contracts. To help eliminate barriers to participation of DBE firms in DOT assisted contracts. To be, certified, to be certified as a DBE, the business must be 51% owned and controlled by a socially and economically disadvantaged individual. Eligibility criteria for DBE certification consist of being socially disadvantaged, United States citizens or lawfully admitted permanent residents who are women, African American, Hispanic American, Native Americans, Asian Pacific American, subcontinent Asian American. Economically disadvantaged. Firms are subject to applicable small business size standard. A firm's three year annual growth receives, including affiliates, cannot exceed the United States Small Business Administration of 23.98 million or exceed the North American Industry Classification System, next codes, based on the firm's primary activity. Eligibility criteria for DBE certification. Also, to be eligible for the DBE program, individuals claiming social and disadvantaged personal net worth cannot exceed 1.32 million. The control must be an independent business and that is managed and controlled by the socially and economically disadvantaged owner or owners. Required documents for DBE certification. The resume. Detailed resumes must be included for each of the principal owners and manager of the firm. The personal net worth statement must be signed and notarized. Personal net worth statement for socially and economically individual individuals applying for the DBE certification. Here we have a sample of the personal net worth statement. This form must be completed in its entirety and is located on the US Department of Transportation website. Required documents for DBE certification continued. It must include personal tax returns signed and dated tax returns for the last three years, including all schedules and attachments. Federal tax returns, signed and dated tax returns for the last three years, including all schedules and attachments. Tax returns should also be included for any firms the socially and disadvantaged owners has ownership in. Documented proof of contribution, canceled check, loan to the company with owner's assets as collateral, proof of purchase of equipment from the owner's personal funds, signed loan and security agreement. If applicable, provide any loan agreement or security agreements in the company name. A list of equipment and or vehicles owned and leased. Provide a list of all equipment owned and leased by the company. Titles, registration certificates, and US dot numbers for each truck. Vehicles 
owned by the company should provide titles and or registration. Trucking companies are required to submit the US DOT number for each truck. Licenses, license renewal forms, permits, and hauling authority forms. Professional license, business license, certificates, permits, and hauling authority forms. Descriptions of all real estate owned or leased by firm. Signed lease agreement between leaser and leasee, including the term of lease and dollar amount for the space. If your home is being used to operate the business, provide a copy of the tax bill or deed. Documented proof of transfer of assets to from firm and or owners over the last two years. Provide agreement reflecting the transfer along with proof of payment and documentation reflecting the sale of the assets. If stock have been sold, please provide updated stock ledger along with stock certificates. Schedule of salaries. Copies of W-2 forms for the last three years for all officers, managers, owners, and directors of the firm. List of all employees, job titles, and dates of employment. A list of all the employees with their titles and their date of employment. Proof of citizenship, a copy of birth certificate, passport, residency card. Audited financial statements for the last three years. The last three years of financial statement should include the income statement and balance sheet. Trusted agreements held by any owner claiming disadvantaged status. A copy of trust agreement created by disadvantaged owner or owners. A list of product lines carried and list of distribution equipment owned and or leased. Supplier manufacturers provide a brochure or catalog reflecting the products produced by the business or sold by the business, along with lease for the facilities where products are produced or sold. Here, based off your company structure, these are the listed documents that are required. For a corporation, official articles of incorporation, both sides of all stock certificates, stock ledger, shareholder agreements, minutes of all shareholder and board of director meetings and bylaws are required. If you're a limited liability company, articles of organization and operating agreement. If you're a limited liability partnership, Articles of organization, partnership agreement. If you're a sole proprietorship, register assumed name, obtain employer identification number. The certification process. Apply online at www.cta.dbesystem.com. Complete both the vendor application and DBE application. Uphold upload the supporting documents into the system. Application is received and assigned. The review process is 90 days in which the file is reviewed and a site visit is conducted. During this time period, if additional information is needed, the farm will be contacted. The farm will be notified via email and mail of the CTA's decision. Now that you're certified, now what? The firm DBE certification will be recognized by PACE, Metra, IDOT, and the City of Chicago. The firm will be listed in the Illinois UCP directory. This directory is public and allows prime contractors to search for DBE firms by specialty area or next code. Attend outreach and network in order to inform contractors about your business and inform them of your DBE certification. If you have any questions about the material covered today's and covered in today's presentation, please feel free to reach out to Juan Pablo Prieto, Director of Diversity Programs, Jamie Neely, Manager, Small Business Development and Outreach, Brittany Bowman, Compliance Manager, Diversity Programs, Alexandria Amos, Certification Specialist, and Laura DeCastro, Senior Project Manager Administration. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for attending.